Collin missed the pass, left point. Costant hangs on to it, feeds Collin, left circle, tees one up, he scores! Three minutes and three seconds gone in the game. It is 1-0 Thunder. Now watch a counterattack towards center. Base for Dalvis down the right, into the offensive zone. Rich shot, save, rebound, Bates, he scores! Jamie Bates beating Utah at their own game. In transition, finished off a rebound, off the snapshot by Chris Dalvis from the right wing, 2-1. to one. Seuss, Hemingway pokes it free to the soft for Dalvis, all by himself, shoots, he scores! What a play from the battle to the unbelievable pass by Colin Hemingway to find Dalvis right in front. The Thunder lead 3-1. The hole in the season. Here's Acosta walking in, tips it in front. Eisenman backhander, he scores! A power play goal and the Thunder lead is restored with 16-11 to go in the third. A pretty patient play by Oren Eisenman, 4-3. Every game from here on in you know, is going to be a playoff game. We're, we're battling for our lives here. and. Pretty much every other team is as well. Everything's so tight uh, that every game counts, every point counts. So we battled really hard tonight, and uh, you know they came out hard. But you know, credit to the guys. We just we just kept battling. Didn't matter that they tied the game up. We just kept coming. And, and Orange's goal was obviously huge, and, uh, and you know we played great from there. Yeah, you know they were definitely driving the net and trying to get in my face. And I guess that was uh, that was their game plan. But as a goaltender, you got to fight through it, and you got to fight through screens, and and you got to do the best you can to see the puck. Uh, and you know, that was your game plan. I thought uh, there was a couple goals that I was screening on, but there was a lot of saves I made when I was screening as well. And uh, I tried to control my rebounds and, and you know help the guys out. And the guys are doing a great job and boxing guys out for rebounds, which uh, which helped me a lot too. Yeah, uh, Cost gave me uh, just an awesome pass, and um, I mean, you know, the goalie was kind of caught out of position because he had to respect to Costa's shot, and I was just kind of cut and cross and put it in an open net so it was uh, it was a great play by uh, cost for sure early, I mean, well when he slid over then it was it became pretty easy for me to kind of just go around him uh, you know goalies have a tough time kind of changing direction as quick as players do so um, definitely a great play by uh, by cost there and uh, yeah I know you know they're they're a good team we've had a lot of battles against them all year um, last weekend uh, in Utah maybe two weekends ago whenever it was uh, we had you know three really tough games against them and um you know these last two games with you know the exception of the second and third period last night have been really tough you know we know how they play and i think we play a similar style where you know we have good offensive guys but we definitely crash and bang uh you know with the best of them in the league and uh i love playing that kind of style i think uh, there's a lot of in intensity in the uh you know in the building and i think the fans feed off it we feed off it so uh Really had a good time uh, playing there tonight. What a, a finally, what about maybe in trying to see how much Utah was spending so much energy and how that plays into tomorrow with them playing now their fifth game in six nights? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, uh, you can't really think of that because uh, if we go in there with the mentality that they're tired, then, you know, we might not, uh, you know, kind of come up with the effort that we need. So I think we have to go into it uh, just thinking that it's a game against Utah, a good hockey club that uh, is right behind us in the uh, in the standings, and we it's a must win for us. You know, all the games now are it's getting down to crunch time where we're battling uh, pretty much every team in the league right now uh, for position here. So, um, yeah, we, we need to go in there, you know, w whatever the, it might be for them, you know, uh, fifth game, six nights, uh, whatnot. We have to go out with the same effort that we'd be going, uh, you know, whether it be you know, a playoff game or, you know, battling for our lives because that's the only way we're going to beat their their team. They're, they're a good team across there. Um, you know, I was asking if, if he, you know, he's going to spear me and, you know, the consequences for that's a five-minute major and, uh, and you know, that that's the price he's got to pay and it was blatant blatant that he speared me in the chest and, you know, I, I'm not I'm not all for that. You know, I'm for hard, hard-nosed hockey, but uh, if you're going to spear somebody, then, you know, I think that's just a little out of hand and he, uh, what happened was was a good outcome. Five minutes in a game. First off, uh, was not you think a blueprint uh, for just not the end of the regular season, but even playoff. Meaning that this is kind of like a playoff style of game. Uh yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's coming down to every last inch of ice you're gonna have to earn out there. And uh, I thought we had a great first period again. I thought we had a good, uh, a, a really good third period. I thought we 
I thought we really struggled in the second period. And again, I thought we did it to ourselves. Our passing, our focus wasn't where it needed to be. And it's something that I'll address tomorrow. But uh, but again, I think you, you can't take away what they did. They're, they're a team that's as desperate as we are right now. And every team from two through eight right now is is, is playing the same way with, with you know every missed opportunity or mistake uh, potentially costing you your season. So it's... Um, it's something that you got to concentrate with 60, 60 minutes is the only thing we can be thinking about com- coming into more that we got to play a good complete 60 minutes and we, we need we need the people to capitalize on their opportunities I thought the official allowed a little bit too much contact with the goaltender obviously he called the goaltender interference call but the play got evened up uh, you know and I <laughs> I don't doubt that uh, you know maybe Trevor Hunt you know took a you know took it a step too far, but still, and then I think it's a me- an opportunity to send a message because obviously they didn't get it because they hit they hit Perigini every time they went through the crease. He was he was touched in some some way or another, and uh, it's uh, you know you got to protect those guys this time of year. It's it's up to the referees to do, and I thought they kind of dropped the ball a little bit on it. And, but again, teams are going harder than that. We got to be ready. We got to do a better job boxing out. We can't allow them to do it. And conversely, we got to go equally as hard to the net to, to score our goals. That's how you got to get it done this time of year. Yeah, and our fourth game in five, and we travel on Monday. They traveled on Thursday. There's there's a lot of scenarios. Every team's tired. Every team's worn down. Uh, it's a mental it's a mental approach right now. And we got to come. We got to make sure that we bring it physically. We got to bring it execution wise. We we have to. If we if we don't execute, and if our passing's off, and we miss opportunities, and we melt down around the net, or melt down on clears and different different things like that, and miss assignments, you, you don't have a chance. So mentally, I'm more concerned. Physically, you'll find it in you. You know, every player will, and uh, both teams are going to be tired, but it's a team that mentally is ready to go is probably going to win that game. Colin Hemingway with three assists, plus two, a block shot in the third period. Is there much more that you could have asked for with a guy who was wearing the seat tonight? No, he had a great game. He, you know, he goes out and he... Uh and he sets the tone right away again for us uh, the way he did on Wednesday night. I thought, obviously, they had a very poor game on Friday on Friday night, and uh, they were challenged this morning as a line. And you know, they get the game winner. They get a couple. They get a couple other goals in the uh, in the mix. And uh, the, as a line, I thought they played real well. Like Brett Hemingway definitely, you know, brought his game up, and I thought Oren did as well. So nice to see those guys be able to get rewarded on the score sheet with uh, some 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 big goals for us and points. Uh, and, but again, you, know, you got to back up a good one with a good one, and that's what I'm really looking for the, out of those guys tomorrow. Was the team playing off of the crowd is as best as they thought it, it could possibly play with it being in a near sold out barn. Oh yeah, it was a great crowd. Uh, you, you know, fun to play and uh, probably for both teams. Uh, we gave them a lot to cheer about in the first, didn't give them much to cheer about in the second period, and uh, and that almost cost us. And we really almost, we took them out of the uh, out of the out of the game really uh, by our own play. And I liked the way we came out, and uh, and they stuck with us in the third period. It ended up, I think, really adding adding to the win. And uh, they're they're a great crowd. And I'm, I'm hoping that we can get ahead of uh, Toledo and Ontario there because uh, they definitely deserve it, and uh, they've been great all year.